Fine. <gasps> Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Teen Wolf. We're at season 6 episode 16 and this one is titled Triggers. So maybe the triggers to the fear? Like what triggers the fear precisely? We know it's that thing but like we don't know much about it. So yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Let's just see how they manage to like stay undercover and not be found out unless they want to be at the point. I'm, I don't know. Just get into it. <laughs> I didn't know Ed Sheeran was in Teen Wolf. Oh, is it to like verify that there's no one supernatural left? We don't know what you guys are doing. Then cooperate. It's just a little cut. Doesn't even hurt that much. Stop moving. I told you I'm not one of them. That's why we're doing this. Everybody heals, Edgar. You should want to know how fast you heal. Oh no! Cut it again! What are you? Coyote. My whole family is. What else? I'm looking for someone who can do more than just shift. Someone like me. When was the last time you saw Zhang and Tierney? At the sheriff's station. Zhang was a friend of yours, wasn't he? Owen, you don't have to answer any of these questions. Are you a lawyer? Shut up! Place to hide, would you? We're done here. Nolan, go to class. I won't let you harass a student. But you'll put a gun in his hand. I'm teaching him to protect himself. Apparently, the FBI can't. He's not the one in danger. Those missing kids are. Those missing kids are the real killers. We both know that. But since you're here alone... I guess your bosses don't believe that either. Oh. Why did he do that to him? That's odd. What's with all the firepower, Gerard? I'm a federally licensed weapons wholesaler. Some people like to feel safe. My staff and I sell peace of mind. Your EDD roster says you have 30 employees. I'm looking at enough weapons to own 3,000. This is how I make my living. Seems like a lot of inventory for a small market. What can I say? Business is boring. <laughs> Get rid of it. That's uh, Edgar. He's in my trick class. That isn't human. One of you put it out of its misery. Oh. Just do it. Gabe just showed me I can count on him, Nolan. Can I count on you? He's like, right behind. Literally right <laughs> behind me. He's driving a bright red car. Yeah. He's actually terrible at this. That's funny. Because he is not being stealthy at all. Should I come with you guys? This friend shoots a kill. Go. Okay, they have a plan and everything. Here, they're all here. It's just no one and two other guys. This isn't gonna work. Where's the backup? 
I assume there'd be like 20 of them. I mean, they only saw us, and they're not gonna believe no one. And they have to believe us. Isn't that right? Why are you telling? You got a problem? Tell us you don't. Shut up! <laughs> hey, you see that, Scott? Little beta can't even take a punch. But did you actually have to punch me? <laughs> are you done? Or should we keep going? We're gonna call for backup. I think they're sold. You hurt my t-shirt. A broke my nose. Twice. <laughs> Healed. Broke it again. Two times. Uh. Three times. There's still three of them. It's been half an hour. Don't blame me. You're the one that picked the abandoned zoo. How are we doing in this place anyway? Because it's like Mykonos. Like what? The Greek island. In the city, they build these long, narrow, winding streets that all meet up with each other. Invaders would get lost in them like they were in a maze trying to figure out which way to go. I think they just showed up. Okay, now what? Nothing gets in or out. He's still here, isn't he? But doesn't he know how dangerous this is? You have known about the supernatural for five minutes. And we have been doing this for a lot longer. So trust me when I tell you that these kids can handle it. So let them do what they're best at. Saving our asses. He's got a plan. I just don't know what it is. They're gonna go inside there, but to do what? Steal all the... Nice. Steal everything? Send him. He's gonna get himself killed. Hopefully, he takes one of them with him. You're okay with that? Yes. And so should you be. I'm not dying out here because you want payback and get some kid who kicked your ass, okay? Mm -hmm. Let go! Calm down! I said let go! What's going on with you? This can't just be Nolan. Something around here is triggering you. I'm fine. And they're up here! Stand here! Do you have any concept of what the bond between an Alpha and his Beta is like? I would say it's as strong, if not stronger, than the bond between parent and child. What? Imagine what would happen to the parent if I snapped his child's neck and dropped it at his feet. You bitch. Okay. We're saying to me. They're oh here. Oh my god, that's theirs? That's all that's left of them. What is it? Oh. Oh my. Nice. Are you comfortable? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I've got an idea. Okay. 
Well, that's kind of a plan. Sounds great. You don't even know what it is yet. Well, I mean, it's great that you have a plan. Oh. Wouldn't that have touched her have hand, plan? though? Oh, I guess not. <sighs> <laughs> He's smiling about it. The impotence causes fear. It doesn't cause anger. People only feel one emotion at a time, you know. Which is why you get angry when you're afraid. It's why you almost tore one's head off. Mm. They outmaneuvered and overpowered the rest of your men. I want to know there's a plan. You remember the story I told you about the bond between an alpha and a beta? How strong it can be? Don't make the mistake of thinking that applies to us. Gerard? I mean, about all the things I said I haven't done and all the things I still want to do. Yeah. This is one of them. No one can. The guns, they've all been distributed legally to the citizens of Beacon Hills. All of them and at no charge. What, he just gave them away? dad i'm i'm worried like this is where do we go from here like what do we do they're all armed and they're surrounding the house right now how do we get out of it true question like i'm i'm really worried man the finale is gonna be crazy it's gonna be insane i'm so excited the buildup is so freaking good. And we just learned that I think everyone's affected by the Anuk Ite. That's interesting. Uh, we see that Liam, it was anger and he had a hard time controlling himself. He almost killed that kid who like was trying to kill him first. Like they're trying to kill you. And we know and they know that they're not killing people our werewolves are not killing so they're basically trying to kill innocent people too like the hunters are trying to kill innocent people too so like of course we're gonna fight back and if it means killing someone then sorry but you're trying to kill us oh man fucking gerard and now we know he wants to go after the whole world like gerard you're old just fucking rest like, you don't have time to go after all the supernatural beings of the world. Like, you don't have time. You're gonna die soon. I hope that the finale is, like, Gerard's death. 
and we're just like done with it because he's really annoying he's a good villain though like the actor is doing a good a good job because i despise him with all of my heart we're gonna have to lead up to big battle and i think the big battle is gonna be fucking crazy because like how are we gonna fight beacon hills as a whole like we're strong but we're not a lot of people you know so yeah now we're gonna have to like grow in numbers i don't know how maybe we can recruit all of like the supernatural beings because we don't know all of them but there's a lot more than we thought like even people that we don't know that are supernatural so maybe we could like leave beacon hills for a while and just like recruit and build an army and have a big fight i don't know but it's gonna be crazy all right we have malia and scott kiss finally i think that was pretty cool and like i said i'm not against the idea i think that you know they're together they're in situations that are like high emotion and maybe they grew uh closer and i don't think that styles would be upset because he's with lydia and he's always been like in love with Lydia even though like he probably was in love with Malia too but Lydia was always his like one true love <laughs> yeah I don't think he would be upset I hope not you know I don't think it's like a bag stab thing but I don't know I guess I wasn't that invested in Malia and Styles because I always wanted him to be with Lydia but I think that they had a good like they were in each other's lives for a reason and I think they had a great relationship. It just wasn't the one, you know? So that's why I'm pretty okay with that relationship. I think they're funny together. <laughs> I have to go, but that was great and I'm so excited for the next for the next two episodes next week. And uh, yeah, oh my God. I'm stressed out though, like I really am. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you like the double uploads leading up to the finale. I'm I'm really having a good time. That's why I kind of want to, you know, after I finish a few shows, I want to watch fewer ones at the same time and just like watch them faster because watching like two episodes at a time is really a different um, experience of just watching one every like other time. I feel like I'm more into the story and I prefer that. So I think that uh, going forward with the shows I'm watching, uh, currently I think I'll go more into like fewer shows more episodes a week like two episodes of a show you know I think that's a better way to do it I think I like it better I'll see you guys for the next episodes and thank you so much for watching